Inside the Roy Jones Junior Boxing Academy with the lady needs no introduction here with uh, Chris Cyborg, we'll call her today. Uh, first of all, here at a big boxing weekend, but we're taking a little break, doing, doing a little MMA here. Uh, are, you, are you a fan of, of boxing yourself? What, what do you think about the sport? Yeah, you know, I, 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 you know, if you watch my fights, all my fights, I try knock out people because I like to stand up, I like Muay Thai, I like boxing. I try and prove, prove my game about this more and more. And the big fans, the Mayweather fan, the Pacquiao fan, the before it's Mike Tyson. Yeah. Well, of course, it wouldn't be uh, right if we didn't get your prediction on the fight this weekend. So we got Andre Berto and, and Floyd Mayweather. How do you see that fight playing out? You know, I think it's great because you know you can learn a lot of things when you watch a boxing fight. And he may well have a good movement. And uh, you know, if you learn his steps very well, and yeah, you learn so much about this fight. Yeah. I heard you mention before that you would be open to boxing at some point, even Holly Holm in boxing. So is that something you've, you've done, line fight, the, the, the Muay Thai? Would you ever consider a boxing match? You know, because I love I love compete, and when I don't have a Muay Thai fight, of course my focus is more MMA. But when I don't have MMA fight, I, I like compete because you learn more. And I already compete Muay Thai, I already compete Jiu Jitsu, I already compete wrestling. And now boxing, I never compete, before, you know, yet. But maybe one day, you know, maybe one day. But when I don't have MMA fight, of course I would like fight for me can learn more and more. Well, your favorite topic, Ronda Rousey, she, uh, she said she wants to fight Floyd, but not in boxing. But what do you think about her continuously bringing up Floyd? I mean, I guess it's the media a lot that brings it up, too. But do you think, do you think it's right for her to bring that on, or should she kind of focus on MMA? Nah, you know, I think she speaks too much and don't think too much before I speak. And, and I understand her question again. Well, just what do you think about her constantly talking about Floyd? Is she trying to build her own name up and and like feed off of his popularity or, or what do you think she does that for? You know, some, some things she speak, I think she's very, no, don't, don't make sense. You know, I, I can beat Mayweather. Man, I think she should fight Mayweather, she cannot touch him, you know? And, you know, I think she's, this is, this is her style. She like talk, before she talk a lot of bad about me, when the people don't know her. Now maybe she's using Mayweather for the same thing. And she, her style, she like to do this, you know, yeah. I have, know my style. And Dewey's favorite question, if she'll fight Floyd at 147, why won't she fight you at 140? I don't know. Hey, I don't know. I, I do ask this question every day for myself. Yeah. <laughs> is, is the, uh, People talking about, will you ever fight Ronda Rousey? Is that the same as kind of like Manny Pacquiao and Floyd? Will they ever fight? Is that the, the MMA version of that? I think so. And it happened. And I, I hopefully this fight happens. Semi Pacquiao and Mayweather. Do, uh, do we ever, are we going to have to wait that long before it happens with you two, though? Yeah, early, early. <laughs> All right. Um, you recently did a movie. It was, it was kind of interesting that the Fightville video, uh, movie coming out, we saw you with down there with Misha Tate and with uh, Holly Holm and the Serranos, the, the boxers. What was that like uh, being with those girls on the set? You know, for me, it's something new because I never did a movie before and very different when you fight than you fight inside the movie. And, but the good for me, I think I, I met Holly, Holly Holm and I met our Serranos, bro sisters. I think it's really good because you see the relationship, all the girls, fighters, and really very well, very good. And man, I'm glad I'm so excited for watch this move soon, in December, five, I think. How'd you get so much bigger than Misha? You're like two feet taller and 80 pounds. No, people make fun shop, but I know we are a little bit bigger than her, but people be making me more bigger, yeah, bigger. All right, well, she fights, Ronda fights Holly Holm next. She's already fought Misha twice, wants to fight her again. Who beats Ronda Rousey first, Misha, Holly Holm, or you? Me, huh? I want me, but you know, of course, I know, I don't want, I, I, I want a great fighter and always I leave God's hands and if, who, who, has, who deserves to be champ, be champ. And how do you see that fight coming up with her in November, Holly Holm and Ronda Rousey? How do you think that fight plays out? I think same game, maybe she should try to take, take down Holly Holm and do one bar, same what she's doing. Maybe she should try, you know, try to box stand up. I don't think so, but maybe, I don't know, yeah, it's a gamble. So you've been fighting for 10 years now. How has women's MMA evolved in that time? Is it, how much better is a talent pool? Because that's the one criticism that a lot of you girls get is that there's nobody good for you to beat out there. So how much better has the sport gotten? You know, now it's very respectful and people see it's really professional and people don't more credit for the girls, women's MMA. 
And I'm so happy because, you know, when I start training, nobody do MMA. And so when I say I want to be a world champion, everybody look at me and say, well, you're laughing about this. And I'm, I'm glad, you know, I'm glad, I'm happy. The women's, women's grow a lot and UFC help promote this, my, my event to Invicta FC too. And it's good for other kids, young kids who want to be fighters and you know, have a great opportunity. Well, women's MMA has exploded the last couple of years. The first super fight ever, I think, was you and Gina Carano. Is a fight, potential fight between you and Ronda, is that bigger than that fight? I think so, but you know, me and Gina Carano is history because we never have fight a woman's man card, woman, man card and before Ronda do main card, me and Gina Carano had it. All right, Demetrius Johnson said he wants to see you guys fight, but not at 135, you and Ronda. Do you need to fight at 140 or 145 to be at your best? I heard you say that you think it's a possibility at 135, but, but where, where are you at your absolute best? Uh, you know, I think, you know, something all fighters know this, when you clean your division, you go, on t go up. You, uh, if you clean your division 145, I go 155 because I want to clean my division. But Ronda Rousey, she say, no, I don't accept to go up. If she, she want to come to champ, she have to make my weight. Man, I'm a champ too. And, but I want to try to make this fight happen, and I'm trying my next fight 140. If I do very good, it would be easier for me, it would be strong. Maybe I can my next step in 135 to make this fight happen for my fans. And she sent to the chair, just wait. You know, and, but I know I'm, I'm very good, I'm very confident about this. And I give my 100%, I can lay down my bed and say, man, I did. Thank God I did. You know, I don't say just waiting. You think she wants you weak, that's why she wants you to fight at 135? I think, I think to her mind, I think her mind, yeah, she's make 135. She's maybe maybe be weak, or maybe I, she's never make 135, and I just fight her if we make 135, or she's always remember about my mistake. I think this is everything insurance for her, you know, excuse. Do you think that, you know, she talks about the belt, if you want to be the champion, you got to go there and meet her, but <clears throat> does the belt even matter? I mean, for you too, it's kind of like Floyd and Manny, I mean, there's belts, but no one even paid attention. It wasn't about the belts. So the fight between you two, not about the belts, it doesn't matter? Uh, you know, I had to talk about this. No, I have two belts in my house, you know. Some some point in my life, uh, I was I was champ, and uh, I have my belt in my house, and some, some people don't have money in my house for can eat. I don't think change, belt change life to nobody. I don't fight for belt. I fight because I like fight, and she's can stay fight. If you fight, I don't have to stay with belt. This is just symbol for me. How, is this are the fans and media more worried about this fight than you are? I mean, how important is this fight for you? Do you have to have it, or is that something the media cares more about than you do? You know, everywhere I, talk, everywhere I go, and people asking me about this fight in Ronda Rousey, I don't want to finish my career and say why you don't did this fight. And because this, I, I'm trying, I'm do dieting, and uh, I'm straight dieting, I'm straight training, I'm learning every day. I train judo now. And everything for make a great fight, you know, for Umas MMA, because this is not just now. In future, you can see, oh, Ronda Rousey and Chris Cyber did make a nice fight and help a lot about Umas MMA. And yeah, I want to be great. I want this opportunity. I think I deserve, and defense deserve, and I don't know, I think it'd be amazing. Do you think that all her her side projects, I mean, of course, you just did a movie, so, but she does so many things. She does commercials, movies, whatever else. Do you think ultimately that's going to hurt her as a fighter? And it seems like she's already kind of talking about getting out in a couple years anyway. So how are, are these going to be distractions for her? Uh, you know, I think she's, she's happy to be ready for this situation. When you be champion, you have a lot of things going on in your life. And, but you have to never have to forget your folks. Huh? Keep training and keep me ready because when you champion one time, man, you have to be ready because everybody wants to beat her. And the Ivy wants to beat her too. <laughs> Misha Tate recently said, even though you're two feet taller and 80 pounds bigger, said she would fight you at a catch weight. Um, do you have more respect for her as a fighter? Uh, that The fact that she's willing to do that, come up and meet you? Of course, real fighter is no choice opponent, you know. I, in my school, shoot the box, I learned, you never choose your opponent. You have to be ready for any situation. And I, of course, I respect to Misha Tate to say, man, we can fight catch weight. And we can fight because we love this, it's our work. We pay bills, we work about this. No, you cannot choose who you want to fight. Man, I, of course, I have a lot of respect for her. All right, two more questions really quick. Uh, UFC is considered by you know, most of the big leagues. Do you, is it important for you, Ronda or whoever, is it important for you to fight in the UFC at some time? Or a lot of fighters I talk to don't really care. As long as they're getting paid, it doesn't matter the name of the promotion. So is it important for you to fight inside the UFC? 
You know, for me, I'm happy in Victor. You know, I'm happy over there. Just make the run the Ross fight, it's okay. And yeah, in the after future, you can see what you're doing. But I'm happy. I'm happy for Invicta. I told I want to grow with Invicta, help Invicta when I really need Invicta help me. And but this fight happened, man. Be happy too, you know. Be UFC one day. Are you the greatest fighter of all time right now? People want to say Ronda all the time, but they see her more. So are you actually the, right now? Are you the greatest women's fighter of all time? You know, I don't like to say I'm the, the best fighter in the world. Some people say I think people can watch inside the cage and they, they talk about things. And I just have training and they try to improve my game all the time. All right. Well, thanks, Chris. Appreciate it, and best of luck to you. Look forward to seeing you in the cage soon. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks.